Welcome back guys. Today we're going to take a look at the Dune Awakening benchmark and character creation tool on my RX 7900 XTX and Ryzen 9800 X 3D at 4K. We're going to make three benchmark runs. The first one, this one, will focus on maxed out settings and FSR native AA. Second one will be FSR quality and FSR performance. In case you didn't know, Dune Awakening is an Unreal Engine 5 MMO with player base building, crafting, PvP. And the benchmark is split into three parts. The first part, this one right here, is player built bases. So players can form factions, share resources, and build bases. You can even build uh, ornithopters, you know, those helicopter things that look like dragonflies. They're pretty cool. But as you can see, the game is very demanding. It is Unreal Engine 5, and it looks to be using Lumen GI and Reflections. And uh, yeah, interestingly, we actually made a video looking at the RTX 4090, very similar video to this. And just out of curiosity, if we were to compare the same scene between the 7900 XTX and RTX 4090, the 4090 was around 30-ish percent faster, which is about what you would expect. Nothing unusual there, but that is with DLAA and FSRAA all maxed out settings. And the reason why I'm showing you this is because, well, first I have the results from the previous video, but it also becomes interesting as we begin to use FSR and DLSS quality and even performance. It's quite interesting. And there will be a results page, which I will show you both of them so you guys can look at it for yourselves. Now this is the second part of the benchmark, Harco Village they call it, and I believe this is supposed to be like a main uh, outpost where players can go and sell their stuff. Maybe there's an auction house, I'm assuming. Again, I haven't played the beta, so I don't know much about it, but it does sound like a pretty interesting game. The fact that you can craft vehicles and there's classes and it's, it's the right recipe for a good game, but from what I've heard, of the beta it can be a bit clunky but then again the game is months away so hopefully they can put out a pretty good product but so far so good i think as far as graphics go it actually looks pretty good as far as performance goes it's pretty similar to the previous part with the player bases we seem to be hovering between 40 and 50 maybe a little bit higher here now we move on to the ornithopter and the sandworm and i think this is supposed to simulate light in the open world that's what i'm assuming but here we get a lot more frames than we did previously which i guess kind of makes sense but yeah a really cool looking scene with the sand war popping out of the sand and the sky in the background it looks really cool and then here is the results page for the 7900 xtx at 4k ultra fsr native aa and you guys can pause if you want to take a more thorough look. And then here's the RTX 4090 with the same settings, but with DLAA. And now we're going to take a look at FSR quality. And it's definitely how I would play the game. I think native is a bit too demanding. We also had everything set to ultra, right? But again, if we just drop FSR to quality, the game still looks really good. And we damn near double our FPS just by using FSR quality. So I've said it before and I'll say it again with Unreal Engine 5. It doesn't make a ton of sense to run it at native resolution. Yeah, I mean, native will look a bit crisper, a bit cleaner, maybe more consistent. But the cost of performance is quite high. Unless you have the right hardware to get the playable FPS you're looking for, I think dropping to FSR or DLSS quality or TSR quality is a good choice but if we compare our 7900 xtx to the 4090 now the 4090 is still ahead by like 15 fps or so but that advantage has shrunk a little bit it's not 30 percent faster anymore the 7900 xtx has like caught up with the 4090 a little and that would indicate some type of a cpu bottleneck or a CPU bound scenario. And I had a guy I know who tested it with an Intel chip on his 4090. And actually he was able to get a little bit more FPS than I was with my 4090. So it kind of adds up because native 4K would be quite a bit more GPU demand, a lot more actually. That advantage in performance though should carry over even when using FSR quality or performance. 
but for some reason it seems to be acting like there's some sort of a CPU bottleneck and I have this theory that I think it has something to do with how Unreal Engine 5 works and Lumen and Nanite because it doesn't really behave like other engines do. Maybe I'm, I'll make a video someday um, once I dig more into it but it is quite interesting. But anyway, we're now in Harko Village, and again, we seem to be getting a little bit higher FPS than we were in the player build basis part before. And then if we jump over to the Sandworm part, we're in the hundreds, pretty much. So yeah, this part is definitely a lot less demanding. Very, very nice. And don't forget, guys, that this game does actually have support for FSR and DLSS frame generation as well. And here's the results for the 7900 XTX with FSR quality and the results for the RTX 4090 with DLSS quality. And now we've arrived at our last run, FSR performance. We begin with the player build basis part and if you'll notice we have lost a bit of image quality there's definitely a bit more uh, instability with the finer detail but if you also notice we didn't really gain a huge bump into our FPS going from FSR quality to performance so I personally don't think it's even worth it to consider FSR performance you can just use FSR quality and then you can throw frame generation that should take you north of 120 FPS no problem. But either way, I still think FSR performance actually still looks pretty good, pretty decent. But again, we don't gain a huge bump in our FPS. But if we were to compare it to the RTX 4090 again, they're now very similar in FPS. And that would make sense because we are pretty much CPU bound here. Uh, the biggest difference is the 4090 is consuming around 100 watts less power, but otherwise the FPS is very similar. It also explains why we're probably not getting a huge amount more FPS going from FSR quality to FSR performance. And we're back in Harko Village now and again the FPS seems to be more or less very similar to what it was previously on the player bases. But yeah guys, this is gonna be the last benchmark and pretty much the end of the video. I'll show the results for DLSS and FSR performance at the very end, but that's gonna be it. I do, I am interested in this game because I do like the premise. I like sci-fi scenarios and even though I may not be the biggest Dune fan, I, I do like the whole premise of it and I've enjoyed watching the movies. Now this is supposed to be historically lore-wise, it's supposed to be uh, a sort of like a parallel universe to what's happening in the movies uh, because they needed that creative freedom to make the lore in the game but yeah i mean other than that uh, i guess we'll have to take a look at the game when it comes out but i'm definitely interested and we'll get to see how it runs while you're actually playing and while there's pvp and a lot of things going on because sometimes benchmarks aren't exactly 100 percent representative but that's gonna be it guys Thanks for watching, give the video a like, and subscribe.